Righto. We are gonna meet up with a jit. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. Named Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. That is some information on me wife. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. A writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Okay. Also, why is that just a fucking boat in the middle of this trailer park? It just doesn't make sense. I don't see no water around here. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a Jagger. They were lovers. Jagger. Sure. Got the moves like Jagger. <laughs> the scratch and hack comes for you in the dark. Stuff like that. <laughs> oh, that's anyway, sick, bro. Moves like that. Jagger. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Damn, motherfucker. I mean, I know you got a limp and all, but like, people are a little quicker. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. What he said. Oh, Rose. Rose. Kick that shit down. Hey, Rose. To... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Bro, she sounds very naughty herself. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al? Al, what's... Oh. Barry! Barbara. So what, that's the same? You and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. Is that Barbara? I am Barbara. 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 You must uh, the the Jaeger. The Jaeger. Who's the Jaeger? That's her. than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Hey. 
Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Mm -hmm. First refill is free. Milk right. and sugar on the counter there. I can see that Would you this like way. to hear today's specials? Thank you. Can I get My oh. gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Do the dash. Oh, radio. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you. Oh, Thermos. Come here, Thermos. Come here. I want you, Thermos. Oh, Randolph or Rudolph, Ralph, Ralph Lauren. Hey, man. Hey, Brucey. Oh, you're gonna get it now. Uh, God what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Who the fuck's Hemingway? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? Wait, what is going on? What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! <laughs> I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Run. Bro, who the fuck's having her? I thought his jet name was Alan Wake. Eat one. Eat one. Eat one. Boom. Rask that. Come on. Let's go, Alan. Go, Alan. Run, Alan. Okay, you. Oh, damn. <laughs> I am a master at running. Fucking climb! Oh, piece of paper. Hmm. Oh, the shadow monsters. Am I about to get a jump? It's a gun. Hey. hey, hey, do you have, do you have a weapon? No, you don't. Escape the Pope. Escape the Pope. Okay, so. Oh, I've got my headphones on backwards. Fuck! Stay sharp. Is this a wave? Nah. Hmm. 
I will not stick around to find out. They got their ass beat, bro. That's all I can see. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Mmm. Very poetic. Boom. I like it. <laughs> Wake, bro. Actually, there is some way to run. Birds? Attack! Fucked. Do I finally get f something? Uh, this is Jane Mulligan Thornton. Come in. Over. Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why they would? Hey, come on. What you, come on. Sit down and give me that. Jane Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him, you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh... Fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet she does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Oh, look at out. Wow. Well, what can I use these for? I could see the lights of the radio station in the distance. Wait, is that the radio? Or is that the radio? Oh, that's the tower. Shoo! I guess I'm going over there. Hmm. Aha. This is where I go. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine mm. seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Hmm. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. You mean this big motherfucker right here? Let me just pick up a caramels. Oh shit! Watching a master at work, they say. Oh. Bro, 
Where can I get a blicky? I need a weapon, Loki. Like. Whoa. Oh, flash up. Piece of plywood. Ooh. Oh! It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Flashbang? Piece of paper. Right there, it's right there. Freedom. Hey, well, fuck it here. Eat this shit. Cup. Yeah, boy. Hey. Fuck, oh, bro. He's eating this shit. What I thought. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Daddy, shut the fuck up, bro.
Who the fuck's Dan Brown? Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Shit, looks like I'm fucking run. Oh! Oh my god! Run, motherfucker, run! What you get for naming a book the sudden stop. So okay, so I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. All the I'd fucking the cops okay. the line. All the names he was calling it with fucking book names. Oh like authors and like authors and shit, man. I swear to god if I get jumped, bro. Weave, weave. Hey, back up. Something popped up, something popped up in the screen. View error. I'll try again, bro. Principal reason for the power there we the go. To be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Okay. Um. The darkness controls the taken. I've. <gasps> Big blicky bro. Oh, you're gonna get it now, sunshine. Hey. Ah! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, ah, ah shit. So it doesn't last forever, per se. What? We? Tell you again, boy. Back up. Back up. I swear to God. I swear to God. Yeah. That's why I say back the fuck up, bro. Before you get clapped. Or I clap them cheeks. Whoa. Whoa. Who said that? Maybe I did. The light. You, in the in light, you can hurt them. Oh no, shit, Sherlock. Oh, yeah. Lithium batteries? Um, I think I'll have to go this way. Run, boy, run! Um, yoink. Wait, that's her. I'm not meant to go this way? Well, fuck you, I guess. I guess we're going this way. Um... 
Oh, hell yeah. A little, a little, a little shack attack if you will. Oh, Thermos? I like that. Damn good cup of coffee trophy I just got. It's a water tower over there. Oh, it's a train. Nice. Oh, someone's calling me. Hello? Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. Keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Huh? Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Is that a shack? Oh, oh my god, Yogi Bear, is this you? Actually, no, he lives in Yellowstone National Park. And that's... Fuck, I don't even know where Yellowstone National Park is. I just thought I picked up some. Hey, you guys think you're slick? You think you're slick? You think you're slick? You think you're slick? You know, I'm gonna bring out the revolver for you. Ow! That's not right. That's actually really rude. I do not appreciate it, sir. Yogi Bear. Uh, Yellowstone National Park. Memory? And a warehouse from, of some sort on the from what I remember of 2012, it's probably it. in California-ish era. Area. And I don't... And I'm guessing I'm in like the Washington area because it's just from New York. And I don't see him driving to like the middle of the bumfuck America. So I'm probably in like a like a yeah probably Washington, Washington or something. I'd the say. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Oh, hey. hey. Throwing construction equipment at me. Where am I going? Boy, what the fuck is this? Holy shit! Huh? Now fucking what? I'm getting jumped by fucking. Metal, but is the darkness magneto or some bullshit that I'm unaware of? Is that a wheelbarrow? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Got hit by a whole ass wheelbarrow, bro. I'm convinced, bro. The darkness is Magneto. It's not this supernatural force or any bullshit like that. I just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting mm. closer. 
Truce, Truce. Oh my god, how many Thermos? Bro, I'm just... I'm just stealing thermos at this point. I feel bad. Cat, no, I lied, bro. I don't feel bad. Hey, hey, hey. No, oh, I did not. Whoa! Back up. Back up. Killers of American Steel! Oh shit! This boy, this pretty boy, lacking. Oh, uh, what did that see? In light, you can hurt them. I know that's what I've been doing for a majority of the game so far. Oh, check it. Well, this is definitely like a boss battle ish area. I'm going to end it here because I cannot take that TV. That sounds like absolute horseshit show. But anyway, see ya.